Hi there, welcome back to My Green Pets. I've ho I hope you've had a great week. Um, it's been pretty pretty calm here uh, in the Ohio Valley region uh, the past week. We've had a couple storms, but it's been drier than than it has normally has been the rest of the summer. Let's start out by looking at these phalaenopsis, which are indoors, and I just wanted to mm, comment on these because they've been in bloom since early March. So if you count March, okay, April, May, June, July, now we're in August, so we're going on five months of bloom, and this is just a kind of a testament to why the phalaenopsis orchids are so popular. They just last and last and last. This silver vase bromeliad also has a long-lasting inflorescence. It sent it up in the middle of June and uh, it was blooming through July and the bract itself, the, the bright pink part, will stay there and stay looking pretty until the end of November or so. Okay, well let's go outside and see the orchids that are living outside for the summer. We'll start out with Vanda Pachara Delight, which has got lots of flowers, but sometimes you don't you don't realize how large they are because of the camera angle so I stick my hand back here so you can see that the flowers are, are quite big. Now moving over to the shade house we're gonna see that when August comes when August arrives it's a time for plants to start finishing what they started in the spring and preparing for winter. Uh, for these uh, catacetum types, that means their pseudobulbs start swelling and within two or three months, they're going to be dropping their leaves. These little Cattleya seedlings are also finishing up their growth for the year. Some of the roots are looking kind of iffy because they've been kept wet for too long and that can sometimes introduce rot but the mounted seedlings uh, don't have that problem and as you can see these are starting to kind of uh, finish up their new growth and they've got lots of roots on them that, that look very healthy. This is Little Mermaid, a popular Cattleya hybrid and she should be blooming in October. Now the bubble films are growing a little bit differently for me this year. In the past they'd, they'd all send out new growth in the spring and then that new growth would be maturing around this time of year, around August. But this year, in addition to new growth started in the spring, several of them have started additional new growths in the past few weeks, which means that won't be maturing until fall. So I don't know how that's going to affect the blooming this year, but um, actually something that just occurred to me, these later growths that are just starting might bloom in the spring. So I might get a, fa a fall or a winter bloom and then a spring bloom as well. Ooh, that would be nice, huh? The Phalaenopsis are, are still pushing out new growth. They're kind of in full growth mode. Um, this Chilariana especially, I just absolutely love it. I'm so glad I bought it. I just love it. And look at those roots. They're snaky, slithery, snaky roots slithering out of the pot. And while we're on the topic of Phalaenopsis, I wanted to share with you this photo and the accompanying message that I received from a friend recently. It reads, a student gave it to me a couple of years ago and it's blooming again. I would always see your photos of orchids about to bloom and wondered what all the excitement was about. Now I understand. Well, you know, this message just really made my day because this is what this channel is all about, okay? I put these videos up because I want to share what I am learning and what I am enjoying about my plants you know, at, in real time. Every week there's something new. There's something different. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not so good. But it's an experience and I enjoy sharing that experience with others. I've often heard that it's the little things in life that bring you happiness and for me it's this is one of those things. To care for a plant, to watch it grow, and to have it bloom for you. For me it, it is pure happiness. So when I hear that someone else, especially a friend, has discovered that happiness, I mean, that's, I just think that's great. It just put a huge smile on my face. Okay, we're going to return to the shade house, but now it's several hours later, so the background noise, as you will notice, has changed considerably. Yes, the insects of late summer 
have emerged and the forest pulses with their symphony. And let's hope they don't have a taste for orchid. We're going to finish up this week with a view of my Paphiopedilum prime child, which has finally opened up its third flower. So it's done, I guess. Um, it's got all three in bloom, and it's looking very nice. Here's a question. Do you think I should take this plant in to be judged? The nearest judging center is three and a half hours away from me, so it would be quite a trek. But if enough people thought they would actually maybe merit an award from the American Orchid Society, I might be tempted to take it up there. So I'm going to post a poll at the top of the screen, and I'd like for you to vote. If you think that I should take it up there for judging, let me know. Well, that does it for this week. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'll leave you with some sights and sounds of the evening, and we'll see you next time right here on My Green Pets. Thanks. <laughs>